What's up, everybody? This is Mario Maitland, also known as Rio. Make sure you go like and subscribe to our channel below so you don't miss out on any of this great content going forward. Opportunities at a, a national and international level don't happen if you don't put yourself in the right rooms with the right people. Yeah. Um, creating your own opportunities. Yeah. So it's like, you know, that's where I think school was really valuable for me was, you know, all of that studying, all of that stuff going through practice rooms and traveling and all that stuff like prepared me to be able to, to master those skills as best as I can anyway of creating opportunities and networking and sifting through the, the noise out there to figure out, okay, what's really a path I should take with this, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, one of my former partners continues to push me with branded 78 to, to dive deeper with sales and go do a lot more local selling. And I've always been the kind of person that's like, I want to have the biggest impact possible. I love working one-on-one -on -one with somebody and helping yeah. just a single person at a time. Right. I also love being in a position to be able to say something and help dozens or hundreds or thousands of people at a time. Um, and I love being everywhere in between. And so it's like, that's kind of how, if you want to call it the sales mechanism has been working. It's like, instead of going door to door figuratively and non <laughs> figuratively and like knocking on doors and being like, Hey, can we do your social media? Can we make content? For, hey, can we do this for you? Like, instead of doing that, which is what everybody else is doing. Yeah. This is kind of what I was alluding to before having confidence in yourself to know that what you're doing is the right path. Um, and doing things differently than other people is actually a good thing in a lot of ways, but you also have to know the difference between what is a, standard thing that's expected in your industry and what's okay to deviate from that's going to make you stand out. stand out in marketing. I don't, I don't get to make the rules about what a marketing funnel is. So that's like a standard, but when it comes to how do I sell my marketing stuff, right? That's where I get to deviate. I don't have to go door to door like other people I mean, it could, um, but I choose not to make proposals or, uh, you know, knock on doors, like I said, and cold email people, cold call, cold walk in your business and try to hit you up and say, you know, I want to make content for you. I could do those things, but I choose to do it in a more meaningful way. That's a lot longer to come to fruition, but I think it's a lot more meaningful when it actually does. So like Absolutely. building those relationships with people that already have the audience that I want and need. I want the eyeballs of Lexington. I want the eyeballs of Kentucky. I would love the eyeballs of the U S well, how do I get those? Well, do I go pay money for a Super Bowl ad? Well, no. <laughs> so how do I do it? I go find other people that currently already have those eyeballs that I want. Yeah. So that's one of those things of like, it, you know, something that started as a business transaction that's turned into a real true friendship is like cash Daniel. I heard that he needed help producing his podcast back in the fall. I think actually, I think it was July. Um, and so I just reached out and basically started producing his thing and us spending all that time together, you know, making his podcast and everything. We're like, we're good friends. We hang out here all the time. Like I said, yeah. Um, cash is somebody that has equity brand equity in his name and his face. You know, he's on television. He's on the radio. He's, uh, you know, podcasting all the time and he's doing all sorts of stuff. Um, so like he has an audience of Lexington that I wanted. So of course, you know, like that's, it sounds selfish no. and I totally know that because like, like one thing it. I also think about all the time is like, it feels selfish to say out loud. It feels selfish to think in my head like, Oh, you have an audience that I need. I'm going to just hang out with you. It's like, well, it's selfish if there's nothing else to it, I think. Yeah. But like, I'm, I'm careful with the people that I choose to align myself with. Right. Because we really do need to be friends. We do need to align in our beliefs in, in business and in life. And, you know, certain things like don't have to align. Exactly. But it's like, yeah. you know, it, if I have what you need, this comes back to the like filling a, a need for business, right? You have to actually serve a purpose. And if you don't, what are you really doing here? 
It's like Cash needed what I needed or what I have in my ability to create content for him. And he has what I need, an audience that I wanted as far as, you know, my business stuff. Uh, did we both get what we needed? I think so. Um, but we also, on top of that, we got a great friendship. And so now we rely and tap each other for stuff. Yeah. As yeah, much yeah. as we can. Same thing with like Todd Lanter. It's like Todd was a guest on the show. We sat at Jeff Ruby with his girlfriend, Maria Montgomery. Right. And um, like we just sat in there recording the show together. And Todd was like really infatuated with all the gear that we had for the show. And like we kept in touch talking about podcasting and stuff. He's got a podcast called Seat 14 Podcast. Okay. Where he interviews like NBA players and former players cool. from UK and stuff. And so like what started is me helping him produce his show and give some some ideas and things for for equipment and how to set it up and, and do this kind of thing broadcast um again turned into like well todd has an audience of people i i would like and todd's a really cool dude we love hanging out talk about gear and we also developed a friendship and it's like those mm-hmm. thing those three things kind of happen together at the same time you know networking um <laughs> I mean, yeah and now it's like these relationships are blossoming and putting me in rooms with really interesting people I never would have been able to be in a room with. For more episodes and exclusive content, subscribe to What's Next with Rio.